Good day, and today I'd like to tell you, show you how to remotely connect using basically any operating system, but I'm doing it in Linux. I'm going to show you this program called No Machine. So this, what this program will do is if you have computers on your home network, you can remotely connect to them. I like this program the best for local network because it transfers the sound. It will work with Linux to Windows and Windows to Linux. So I can use my Windows computer, go on and do work on Linux. And I can also use my vice versa. I'm going to connect. So here's my, uh, so when you connect into Windows, I just want to remind you that you'll have to, uh, you want to make sure you have your name typed in for your login correctly. So it could be like my machine's Robbie T470, but it's also comma slash windows. So you need that to be able to connect into your machine. So make sure you have your name of your machine perfectly typed in. So it will see the machine. This machine's already logged in. So you just click on it. Once it's all set up, it'll pop up this window. And there, you don't have to show this dialogue every time, but it just gives you instructions on how to um, navigate it. And you follow through that. Now you can download this no machine, just do a Google search for no machine and download it. And I'm going to full screen it. So this is my Windows machine here running in Linux. So there's Windows <laughs> there. This is my laptop upstairs. This is um, Linux here on my desktop. So you can do that. Now, if you want to work and configure the settings of no machine, so you just go right here and this little page here on the top corner will open up and then you can get into your setting. You can mute your audio or unmute your audio, mute your mic, unmute your mic, all that, all the settings you can um, configure in that. So here you go. You go to nomachine.com to download it. You download it for Linux and install it. It has a pretty easy installer for, for Linux and for Windows. Uh, other operating systems, I'll, I'll check out to see if... Um, who all can use it. Yeah, so it's available for pretty much everything. No machine for Mac, Windows, and Linux. It's, it's, a, it's free software available on all platforms, all the main platforms for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And when you have it running, you can... Now, if you want to disable your desktop shared, you can always disable or enable it. So yeah, that's no machine. So that's a way you can connect remotely to uh, other computers on your home network. Now, if you want to connect to a computer, uh, this... I don't believe this works, and maybe someone could tell me, explain to me in the comments if they have over the uh, the internet. So, like, you can connect your friend's computer at another home. I don't know if this program can do that, but what I uh, typically use for that is Parsec. So, with Parsec, you install that. You just go to parsec.com, and I'll show you how. Trevor told me about this. Trevor Warren told me about this this service. Uh, great service. Now, this one you have to create an account. Uh, on their uh, when you uh, download this program so you create the account and it will uh, with that account you can connect to different computers I do use this to remotely connect to computers um, over different networks online and you just simply hit connect there and you hear the audio from uh, the computer upstairs so this is just the same computer I just connected to it's a Windows machine I'm connecting through Linux now, the downside of this, of Parsec, is that you can't connect to Linux machines yet, uh, at least of, of my knowledge. Of this recording of this video, I can use my Linux machine and connect to a Windows machine, but I can't use my Windows machine and connect to a Linux machine remotely online. Uh, so that's um, one of the flaws to this, but when I'm doing some tech support uh, remotely, Usually it's people people are using Windows machines anyway, so this works out for me. But this is a way to connect onto a remote network. I can also, if it's a computer that has Windows on the network, I can go on no machine on their computer and then connect to my, hey, I can connect onto this computer. So hey, I'll, hey, why not? I'll just connect onto this computer. Yeah, yeah. There we go. We're going to get the, uh, there we go. <laughs> so there's this machine. I'm going to move it out of the window here. So there it is, connected here, making a bunch of crazy windows go nuts. And it's going to close that down. Um, did I get kicked off? I did. I guess that kicked me off. I never tried that before. There. Oh, it's remoted on there. There it goes. It does a crazy thing there. Um, close that down. So yeah, that's uh, so that's how I like to remotely connect to computers via network, via online. Hopefully, that might help you guys out if you're uh, if you need to do that on a computer.
and the phone's ring. Have a great day. Please don't forget to uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hello?